Hi all folks, this is Max from Zetomax.com. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my voiceover on my last video. Anyway, today I've got the best Android tablet, uh, best free Android tablet, and also best paid Android tablet keyboard. Um, so the first one I want to show you is the um, tablet keyboard free, right? And uh, I'll even show you how to install it because I know it's once you open it, uh, what you gotta do is uh, go to setup, settings, I mean, go to language and input and pick uh, configure input methods and make sure tablet keyboard free is checked on. It won't be when you first install it and then hit the back button and change the current input method to tablet keyboard free. So this is a free keyboard but uh, it's cool because you've got the uh, alphabets left and right so it's a lot more uh, intuitive you can type faster type faster um, let me show you some of the options that it comes with let me see here tablet keyboard um, setup okay so this one doesn't actually have um, other functions now if you pay like two dollars and eighty five cents which is what I did. If you can get the uh, thumb keyboard, this is probably the best keyboard. Um, I already bought it, so open that. And this one, once you install it, you have to install it the same way. Go to settings and change. Uh, make sure this is checked on uh, thumb keyboard 4. And then go back and then change current input method. Uh, thumb keyboard 4 all right and there's another way to uh, change keyboards but this is the keyboard it's awesome because I like it because it's angled um, and I can type really fast on this much faster than especially in landscape because this just doesn't make sense to have your uh, hand stretched out but I can type like I can um, type much faster well I just got it so I'm just still getting used to it but it, it is a lot better than the old one the standard Android one um, let me see and you can there's a bunch of options also let me show you how to change keyboards on the go you can do a long press for those of you who don't well, do a long press somewhere uh, you can change the keyboard well you know what? let me try this um, okay. okay let me erase this okay I think when it's empty oh maybe that's just on the phones but if you do a long press on the setting thing the slash here um, you can change the layout of the keyboard select layout and there's a bunch of different layouts you can test out I'll show you a couple of them uh, standard layout so that's the standard and do a long press on the microphone or the slash select layout um, there's a split keyboard this is a little bit bigger I don't really like it that much and then let's go to compact layout so this one's a little bit different I don't like that one um, and then there's a five inch keyboard this is okay I don't really like that one um, I'll show you the seven inch layout one actually this one's kinda nice I kinda like it let me also show you in landscape uh, landscape is kind of funky here um, but let me show you more keyboards here more layouts my favorite I think that one's for 7 inch is a 10 inch 9 inch layout this one is just simply perfect um, you got the numbers and it also works in uh, landscape and portrait which is good um, by far this is probably the best uh, keyboard out there I think um, there's also more options you can do you can go to general keyboard settings and uh, mess with a bunch of stuff like you can change the theme they got like 28 themes like let's say I, I want wood then I've got wood um, so I've got a wooden keyboard well didn't change it right there's a little it's a little bit buggy um, so the settings are not working like they supposed to. Oh, here we go. How do I select this? Okay, you can download it. Okay. 
so it's downloading new theme um and oh yeah it, let me know what you think of my last video because i was gonna change let's do voiceover on all my videos i think it'll be more funny um let me see here and you can change the font size uh, layout keyboard um And also another cool feature is you can change the keyboard dimensions. Um, you can change the uh, height of the keyboard uh, in portrait or landscape mode. Um, so let me switch out some of the landscape. So may, may, maybe make it a little bit smaller. Um, so I'm in landscape. And then let me go back to the browser. And voila, so I've got a smaller keyboard. Um, this is a great way to, uh, oh, I like actually this new wooden keyboard. I might keep it for a while. Um, but this makes more sense because now I can, I don't have to be all like, you know, this, the regular Android keyboard is like made for people like, you know, seven feet with gigantic hands. And like this one is actually makes sense for a regular person like me. <laughs> or unless you're from like the land of giants or something. You know. Go. So I can go to my site. By the way, my Starburst ROM with overclock is running so beautiful on my Tab 10.1. My battery life is long. Um, they've got another overclock to 1.6 gigahertz. That's gonna be my probably next video. Uh, anyway, um, also leave comments on what you want me to uh, make videos of. I read every comment. Anyway, that was a review of the best Android tablet keyboard apps. Um, and I just showed you how to install it. Uh, there's a free one. If you don't want to pay, get the free one. Um, if you don't mind paying 283 or two bucks or three bucks, get this. I highly recommend it. You're gonna love typing on this over that standard junk. All right, see y'all later and subscribe. I'll have more apps, uh, hacks, and everything. We cover everything. Yeah.